This right here is a Rokon Moto Tractor. What's so neat about this bike is it's a two by two. Yes, it's two wheel drive. So you can see we're chain driven in the rear. Look at that big sprocket on here. There's a drive shaft that runs through the frame up into here and then you're chain driven here. Now these things are American made. They're actually made right around here in New Hampshire. This one is a Rokon Moto Tractor. From what I looked them up, that is the more utility version ones. It has a longer rack here. I forget the exact year that this thing is, but this Rokon is in the 1980s. They still make these today. They're a little pricey as a brand new one of these is going to run you about nine grand, almost ten grand. Now check out this big engine in there. Made in the USA. This is a little tiny Chrysler air-cooled two-stroke engine. Puts power to a torque converter and then transfers to a three-speed transmission. Now I've always wanted one of these things, but even these old ones command quite a bit of money. The owner of that Polaris 400 owns this thing, and he brought it up here for me to try out. He dropped this thing off today. I didn't even have his Polaris done. But this thing is so cool. These front wheels right here, these are aluminum sealed drums. These things are rated to float. Or you can pull this plug, add fuel, add water, whatever you want in there. Same thing on the rear one. The owner actually has a sidecar that hooks to this, I guess. Gives you an extra wheel, has a nice bench on it. Let's go ahead and fire this beast up. I'm not going to have time to drive it too much today, but uh, we'll do a video tomorrow of me trying it out. ETO gas, bitch, so you can pull with it. little thing's a blast to drive with. I can't wait to get it in the woods. Let's go ahead and try out this Rokon Moto Tractor. This thing has 15 inches of ground clearance. It's all-wheel drive. It's got tractor-like tires on it. I'm pretty sure this thing will probably go wherever you point it. Let's go find out. This is first gear. This thing literally has tractor in its name. Of course, we're going to try to see if she can pull. Well, she can certainly pull. Let's see if she can climb. That old Rokon did great. Made it right up here. I wanted to see if it could come up here. This is the clearing that the owner saw from my house. And he said, you'd probably drive right up there. And guess what? It did. I know it's hard to see, but you can see the garage kind of from here. That thing is a beast. That thing just crawls right along in first gear. Had a little trouble with the sand pit, but it's very loose gravel there. So if I would have got a run on it, it, no problem. But I wanted to see how she'd go just crawling up. And it almost did it. 
Man, I gotta get myself one of them. With a Rokon motor tractor, do at least 25 miles an hour. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is certainly not a speed demon, but I think it will do 25 miles per hour. The engine drives a CVT transmission, which then in turn drives a three-speed transmission here. There's no shifting while you're driving. Say you have an automatic ATV that has high and low range, Basically, this is the same, but you got get gears one, two, and three. Let's see how fast she is. We'll start off in first gear. Like I said, she's no speed demon. Hey, it did hit 31 miles per hour on the GPS. So the old Rollcon does have a couple problems. For one, it probably just needs a carburetor cleaning because the gas is leaking. You don't actually notice it dripping or anything, but it's leaking into the engine. So you gotta shut the gas off. Even if this thing's running and you have the gas on just idling, it'll flood itself out and die. You gotta keep on the throttle or shut the gas off a little bit. That's no big deal. The other problem, so this thing has a three-speed transmission. All the way pushed in is third gear. You pull it out just a little bit like that that's neutral then one more would be second and then neutral and then you got first all the way out this thing has a very small low horsepower engine it relies on its gearing to go so if you're going up a real steep incline with this thing you're going to want it in first gear sometimes going up those steep grades first gear will pop out on this thing it'll, it'll pop out and go in neutral and then you're heading down backwards so good thing the brakes work on it so he's coming to get this thing today i'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick carburetor clean and see if i can get that gas issue straightened out and then he'll bring it back later for the transmission when i have more time let's go ahead and pop these panels off now you can see the little torque converter set up on it pull this side panel off might not need to pull off this panel but it's going to make it a lot easier Oh, wow. Look at that junk on the bottom of that carburetor. This part of the carb doesn't want to come off very easily, so I'm not going to take it off because I do not have I do not have that gasket, so I don't want to ruin it, and then this thing will be down. So put it back together, and we'll have to get a carb kit for this thing. The air filter was pretty filthy, too, so I cleaned that out the best I could. It really needs replacing. We'll go ahead and put that back on and hope it was just that little bit of junk on the bottom causing the problems. All right, carbs back in there. We'll turn the fuel on. We'll give that a minute and then we'll try to start it. You see how this clutch system works? This is a no problem. A little better, still not 100%. It's idling now without flooding itself out, so that's good. Really need a carb kit for it and go right through it, and she'll be good to go.